So target acquired. So Billy, was this the solution to American Ultra? Because <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of the same, about the same premise, at least. Not the, really. Uh, well, it, it's uh, now. It's a. I mean, a person or people who are designed. People who are designed to be. Invincible killers. It's kind of uh, even though these invincible. people were aware of it. It's funny. I mean, it's, a it's, funny how it's a watched... different premise, but uh, it's a, a different story that is. But... It's, it's funny how we watched two movies that both came out this weekend, and both of them involved people being turned into an army of invincible robot killers. <laughs> um, yeah. um, robot in in not in the literal sense. Well, yeah. robotic in a sense that you, you know robotic... what I'm talking about. Robotic Robotically ma- minded. Well, I mean, Pretty the much. actual definition of robot, I think, had had a meaning before Slay. mechanical. So, technically, if you wanted to go by the original okay. definition I, of I robot... I feel like we're veering off course right. here. Let's actually yes, talk let's, about what you thought of the movie. Okay. So, we just came back from seeing Agent 47. Hitman, Hitman Agent, 47. Agent 47. Has any of us uh, actually played any of the Hitman games? I no. Know I haven't. Nope. I've actually... Nope. But I have... But... I actually have seen Alex Spears play. Oh, okay. And this has, and from what I, yeah. from what I, your okay. name is on camera. And from what I know, this has all the tropes of okay. the game. Okay. Except for the rifle he came in with was not the rifle he's typically caught with in the games. The rifle he had was an R93 in this. The typical rifle they put in the games with him was the WA-2000, which looks entirely different. Okay. He's, right, he's well, also known for well, I'm just saying the tropes are... I mean, they got the okay. 45s right. He's often seen... They got the disguises guys. right. He, he does do that. Okay. Yeah, he has the disguises. Yeah. He blends in with the area. The 45s are his iconic weapon. They yeah. typically called them the silver ballers in the mm-hmm. game. Except forty uh, fives were uh, Zachary Quino or John Smith. <laughs> That's the most obvious code name ever because it's like the most Clichés. it's like the most common name Clichés. in the world. I mean, they could have just called him Bob and that would be his name. John Doe. Or the or the he could have if he wasn't forty five he could have been number four because number four and I'm number four his. His code name is John Smith. How about number two to match his acting? <laughs> <laughs> or Spock. Spock. <laughs> okay. okay. okay I have All right. Admit they were really emotionless actors. Okay. They actually I'm just gonna say oh, the yeah. worst Agent thing about this movie. I'm just gonna say the worst thing about this movie. The acting is f- horrid. Yep. Like I just came out of American Ultra. This movie. The lead actress in this movie. <laughs> Gave me a whole world of appreciation for Kristen Stewart's acting. Like, <laughs> good God, she was a fun hobby in this movie. Like I, uh, and of course, I, I swear, my brain could only physically register a fifth of the words she was saying, the and book. I was legitimately missing the story because of this. The best yeah. was Agent Forty. Uh, Agent Forty. Well. He, well, he was kind of supposed to be emotional. He was supposed to be. But that, not only that, that so was she. look at Think it. About it. He was so oh, yeah, that's also true. But too. He was so agents. professional. They were both agents, though. Yeah. They were programmed he was just, not to have these okay. emotions. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and he's played by hairless Orlando Bloom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the actor they got to play him. I know you like the guy, John. Why don't you say what you thought of him? Um, he, he His performance was as 47. Was good. Did you notice the level of professionalism that that he brought? That, Not really. That I liked to it. See, what this movie stuck out to me as was a movie that had really solid direction and just wasn't given a lot to go with. Uh, I feel like this guy is doing his best as Agent 47. He's like got the whole straight thing, a lace thing going down. He does everything in a perfect orderly fashion, and it's really cool to like, see. And that part's great. Even There's though the way he sleeps, uh, like l- he l- sleeps l- in l- a l- sitting l- position with his guns right there, just in case. Yes. L- l- and, l- and, l- and here's the thing: let me finish he... what I was saying. I was oh, yeah. in the okay, middle okay. of something. Uh, the one thing that kept this movie from being like a bad guilty pleasure movie for me, like it almost, like this would have been really fun. I feel like they just got the wrong guy. This guy 
did not carry the sense of intimidation that I felt this character should have. He was well, like this... supposed to be intimidating. Here's why. To blend in with a crowd. Okay, okay, well, let me finish. I was thinking throughout most of the movie, if they had replaced this guy with, like, Robert Patrick from Terminator 2, this movie would have been so much fun. Like, someone who could pull off the normal guy in disguise thing really well, but you felt a, sim felt a sense of, like, legitimate power and intimidation from his acting. Instead, he just seemed like this sort of, like, generic puppy dog actor guy who I didn't really feel was a terrifying force of uh, it's pain not, and death it's, or whatever. You're not supposed to be terrified of him. I know, you, you're, 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 most people, when they know it's that he's coming for them, they've heard what he's done before, and that's what's terrifying about him. I mean, terrifying yeah, but you, you should, is the actions, he, not the appearance. He, yeah, you should you should still feel a sense of legitimate intimidation from his acting, though. He's uh, emotionless. He doesn't give off what is. Yeah. Your emotions he, set off predictability. That's what made him. I'm a not saying agent. he should be emotional. He should use the emotionless. Uh, persona in a way that inspires fear. He really didn't do that for me. He wasn't uh, intended to. I mean, the game's the way he played out. He wasn't really that emotional in those I'm not games. saying he should be emotional. You just ignored what I just said. I'm saying he should be emotionless in an intimidating way. I'm not sure how you pull that off. Well, look at someone like Spock from Star Trek. He can show emotion in an emotionless way. That's what made that a great performance. Versus someone like Kristen Stewart, who's just flat emotionless. Uh, like, when you watch Spock on Star Trek, he's being emotionless, but you still feel for him when he acts. Well, Nimoy had a lot behind his career. Also, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Nimoy. Rest in peace, Nimoy. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well. Um... So oh, I was uh, I was going to bring up the the fact that he sleeps. If he doesn't feel the need to show any emotion at all, why does he see the need to sleep? That's not an emotion. That's, well, yeah, that's but... a physical need. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. Yeah, yeah. How did, yeah, yeah. How did she get his guns away from him? I mean, if he's also that well trained. And she was just trying to disassemble something. Uh, I'm, I'm still wondering how she got those yeah. guns away well, from Weren't you the one who was just well, saying she is... that she's also an agent as well? Well, well, well yeah, we agent, find out she's Agent point. 90. Yeah. No, and, 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 and they, they still... Here's the thing. She was I don't still think... figuring herself out at the time, which is yeah. why I was kind of questioning it. Is like she hadn't quite figured herself out, which is like, how the heck did she manage this before getting into the groove of it? Mm. Yeah. Although even at one point... uh. She she says to 47, if you're lying to me, I'll kill you. And he says, I'm not very easy to kill. We just established that she's 43 agents better than him. No. That's not what the numbers indicate. They either indicate when they were born or just an identity. That's it. I think. Did they ever explain that in the movie, Actually, though? Not really. Not really. The numbers no. signified what their production order. Yeah. Hmm. So... Technically, That's she, what was, I assumed. she was down the line from him. That's why she stated it. She was the 90th model. Yeah. Meaning yeah. she had a lot more behind her. Basically, as the agents progressed, they were working the yeah. kinks out of the models. They were adding new features to them. Although, I think that's only in the movie, not yeah. the actual games. Yeah. But I don't know. I have... As somebody who's played the games, also... Alex. <laughs> I still question why... It had Human Revolution DLC. I am not what? joking. One of the Hitmans literally had a Deuce Eggs DLC for, like, turning the pistols into the Zenith. Let's talk but about the... Let's, let's, let's go with the... Let's <laughs> move. Um, uh, yeah. So, uh, one thing I uh, heard about before watching this movie, I was dreading this movie, honestly, and it didn't turn out to be as bad as I, uh, I heard it was. I was excited for like, this one. I, I saw the Rotten like Tomato that. score. Critics have just been trashing this film. And after I've seen it, I kind of get why the story is really not good. Windows, the acting is not good. I did find myself enjoying the action a lot more than <laughs> I thought. Like, after coming off of, like, 
It is like a video game yeah. movie. It did feel like a video game movie, but in kind of a good way for at least the action parts. Yeah. Like, after coming off of American Ultra, which I hated the shaky cam from, I talked in the review. It's, it's very a, steady. Yeah. This here is... Uh, kind of. This is, like, there's... cool-looking, streamlined, legitimately badass action in this film that I and kind of find myself enjoying. And one thing I liked about yeah. how they portrayed 47. Did you ever notice when they actually showed any scenes with him? The colors of his suit were so vibrantly standing out in there. That's true. Oh, yeah. They, like, they focused the colors when they focused on him. Yeah. So he stood out when you were actually getting a shot of it, which was really yeah. cool. It's like, yeah. it provides the sense you know he's well, there. Now that you bring up the direction, that's another thing I kind of liked about this movie that uh, I wasn't expecting to. There was a lot of really good shots in this film and a lot of really good imagery. Like, they had... Every set piece in this movie looked great. Like, the whole... Like, when the main girl, whatever the hell her name is, meets her dad in the greenhouse. That's a, That was a That's really a, yeah. beautiful location. Yeah. And, like, all the shots of the city looked great. All the action set pieces were perfectly laid out to do good action. And, and they didn't meander in the dull ones, like the hotel, yeah. which barely had anything in them. They didn't yeah. meander in them. They tried to always yeah. go with the better when they Saved go, by Bible. When they go to the evil uh, corporation at the end, right. that was a great-looking location. Like, where everything is, like, this chrome-colored white. Starch uh, white. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not quite to the point where it's distracting, but it still looks uh, cool and kind of surreal. And I really like... Uh, stylized designs like that, especially if they can be used in an action movie to the action's advantage, which they did. Uh, if it hadn't been for the fact that the story and the acting I thought were just utter shit, this would have been a decent movie. Like, you were bringing up how, like, you thought the dialogue scenes dragged out a lot. Yeah, yeah they, they were did, by... They did have some real bad problems with... When they were actually having conversation, it dredged. I mean, uh, like, when I was... Get... Watching the action, I was like, hell yeah. yeah. And then when I was listening to the talking scenes, I'm yeah. like, how long does this go on yeah. for? This was my. Th this is how the movie works. Uh, talking happens. Okay, when when does the action get back? When does the action get back? I, I, I don't care what you're saying. Just fight. Then Agent much. 47 shows up with his guns and starts shooting. Oh, this is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. And then do a talking scene. Yeah, and you're like, like, yeah. Now I have to start the clock again. Yeah. I mean, it would have been nice because yeah. considering he's supposed to be progressing her, it would have been nice to have, you know, some of the information fill in on the go rather yes. than these bleak dredge on talking uh, scenes. Have it on the go a little bit, I please. would not have minded if the acting was better and they were good talking scenes, but they weren't. They were really, really bad. Yeah, I mean, they could have picked up the pace so they could feel a little more... Like, that scene... Pace. With, that scene with the John Smith agent guy and the main uh, girl talking in the hotel... Good uh, God! Oh, my it's like, God. It was like having a piece Ugh. of styrofoam talking to a piece of wood. <laughs> and it went on for, like, yeah. ten no. fucking minutes. Like, Jesus I thought, Christ. I thought the, the only problem was they were sort of pushing. You bleeped so much. It was almost self, like you know? a swear reverse a lot. Terminator. <laughs> isn't it? Uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> didn't yeah, it, didn't anyone that feel way. that at that the hotel moment when Quinto... And, and the girl are talking it was almost like a reverse Terminator. Yeah, thing. it did seem that way. <laughs> I mean, yeah. is it, it's the same stuff that's happening in Terminator, but with all the acting and chemistry of the actors taken out, yes. I do love how he also capitalizes on the weakness of that one guy he's having problems with. Yeah. I mean, think about it. Hmm, he's got metal under his skin. Yeah. What's the... What's the nearest cool, thing to killing it? That's a cool idea. That's another thing that was kind of interesting about the yeah, acting in this movie. Yeah, they fought it out. Like, yeah, all the kills in this movie methods are... methods aren't going to work. All the kills in this movie are so over-the-top and so ridiculous, but you buy it because, A, that's the kind of over-the-top action movie you're going into, and it's a video game movie, and it kind of feels that way in a way Plus, you want to have fun with. these things could actually happen, like the way they're dying, yeah, that... the possibilities. You can believe what's going you on. You can believe. It could happen. You can believe that they would die... The, the think the thought of it actually happening in that way in real life is a little ridiculous, but that's kind of the point. Uh, are you the in no, the which ones uh, are you talking factory. about? Airplane um, factory ones were believable. Airplane factory, shoot a bullet through the window and it blasts through and sucks them into the propeller. That's like, that's ridiculously played up and over the top, but it's played up and over yeah, the top in a fun action I mean, movie kind I of silly way. No, it doesn't suck them. It 
the glass shatters. It shatters the glass, allowing them to be pulled in. Yeah. First I, I, I guess it's yeah, pretty yeah, how it works. Think about this. How was she able to just stand there and take the fan and these guys with all of their gear and more training? Like, than she had at the time. She That's was, a legitimately good point. I wasn't yeah. actually thinking about that. Yeah, it's like, she barely had the training or the reaction time. She was just standing there letting the chair go. And she yeah. probably weighs less than they do, with the less yeah. training, even though she's got, the, like, stuff to be an agent. And these guys who are wearing the heavyweight gear have better training and probably realize what was going on. Yeah. They didn't even try to move. And then, wow! <laughs> I'm just curious, can anyone, like, after seeing this movie, recount actually what the story even was? Well, someone's, oh. tra- someone's trying to recreate the agent program that created, and 47 has been hired to stop it. That's and pretty much And then the same and people who hired him tried to kill him. Here's the, here's the reason You know why. what I'm really glad of? What? They didn't try to force a romance. Uh, that would have been so that would've easy. That would have been dreadful. I yeah. agree. That was, well, I mean, it's a good thing they didn't do 47 works alone, which is yeah. the true yeah. Here's why I think the story doesn't work as a story. Why it does work as an action movie. You mentioned that the goal they're trying to get to is stopping the agent program. Yeah, or Neither at of least... The, here's, here's the reason. Neither of their two leads are invested in that at all. Agent 47 just wants to get his job done, and the girl just wants... What the hell did she even want in this She wanted, wanted to, to find, find her father. father. I, right. James, and then so does like that. Okay, that wasn't quite on, but... All right. uh, and then she wants to live a normal life. After by that. the way, Mance Raider from Game of Thrones, as her father, was a great casting choice. He really? was, he was uh, the king beyond the wall. Wow. Uh, you know, I know he was in Ghost Rider 2 as well, and I feel like this guy is just getting shit on in terms of casting choices outside of Game of Thrones, because he's a damn great actor, and I'd like to see him do other things. I kind of, I sort of saw the inhaler thing coming, but I did, but I thought oh, it was going to be played, too. but I thought it was going to be played out differently. Huh. Oh, I yeah. could see where they were going with it right away. I, I, th- I figured. I thought they were going to, no, he was going to, tri- I thought there was a substance in, substance in it, and he was going to trick them into giving it to him. You know? At like first I saw, like, the, the cyanide kind of theory thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for. But then, for. think oh. about it. When he ended up with a bad guy, and the guy made a real quick grab for it, uh-huh. you could tell there was something already a little yeah. bigger than just, uh, yeah. coming. When he just made a quick grab for it. Like, he really went for it. Yeah. Uh, well, here's something that just occurred to me. If the point of the inhaler was to turn it into a bomb... Why did he even need the inhaler to begin with? Why couldn't he just, like, put together a bomb on the fly? It, wasn't, it was to... It was... It wasn't turning him into a Anything bomb, would have been... Anything yeah, else would have been suspicious. Yeah, the ship blew up. No, no. The inhaler... No, the inhaler might have been the bomb itself. He might have that, replaced that's what, the that's thing. What, that's what it was. Then he yes, gonna... but here's the thing. They know he has an inhaler. They know he needs an inhaler. This is true. This is something they would not take it away from him. You have a good because point. Yeah, you're right. He needs it to stay a lot. Mm-hmm. And he made the guy realize it just before hitting it. It's like, yeah. oh! Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. So, so uh, anything else we want to talk about before we do... Uh, uh, yeah, you really? barely heard anything from me. I've been feeling oh, yeah. like okay, silent okay. Silent for the last 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All I've been doing is just nodding and uh, <laughs> stuff. And... Uh, okay, so... Um, so, I... I found the action sequences mildly enjoyable. There are a few things that kind of took away some enjoyment. Uh, one, it's just uh, occasionally there's too much shaky cam, but and nothing all that bad. It goes that bad. Um, the second, uh, oftentimes during like the hand-to-hand fight scenes, there's it, the the camera work looks kind of stop motion like they do that in some other movies and i'm not talking about like uh the shootout with in the room with like the flashing lights i'm talking uh, about like in the hotel and stuff and has anyone else noticed that how it looks not really. re- somewhat stop motion like not really i didn't st- i didn't get that impression I'm not really no. and then uh third the effects actually look cheap which really? effect? Like, uh, the explosions looked kind of iffy, um, and, uh, also, 
the part is they're exiting the uh, parking garage during that chase sequence. Very fun chase sequence. Oh, though, yeah. But it, it ends with uh, those, uh, what do you call them? The things that oh. rise up out of the ground. Yeah. The... the uh, when, they're, uh, when their Jeep crashes into him, flips ballers. over, and lands. Oh, called, that was that was obviously CG. Ballers. It wasn't practical. Now, now I want to I want to mention something. This is a first I've seen. I've never seen this in, with my memory. I'm not sure if I've seen this, but this is the first time where the main characters are in a car and the uh, bad guys are on motorcycles. There's a first where they use the weight of the car. To their actual advantage. They stop allowing the motorcycles to crash. Yeah. Because the car is going to win. Yeah. Although. <laughs> all the time. In that al- situation. Although, uh, after that scene, they have another one following them. Why didn't they just do it again? Seriously. <laughs> and uh, I, this is, this is one of the mental things I had during uh, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Yeah. Why? You know, why didn't they just keep going towards the motorcycles? Just keep going. Either. I mean, I guess their car would get damaged enough that maybe it wouldn't drive but yeah but it is a mission impossible movie so no no but here's the here's the thing the damage to the car is not going to be as much as the damage to the bikes because the motorcycles are the lighter vehicle it's not a question of i still can you kill the motorcycle driver and wreck the motorcycle it's a question of can you do that and have your car still keep going in top condition maybe but you have but, to assume that 47 upgraded his car. That might not True. be his car. Oh, yeah. That's no. Point. Take the point that he always had this car. Whenever he was driving one, he always had that same red Audi, and it had oh, all the gear in it. So it was probably his car. Yeah. It really and I mean, probably retuned for durability. Yeah. I mean, you notice when they were shooting it? Yeah. With those TMPs probably had armor-piercing rounds in them. They probably had the car reinforced armor. Mm-hmm. And an Audi, since it's already a freaking tank, probably a good car for that. Uh, any other thoughts you want to give to the movie before we grade it? Um, I don't know. I just, uh, this is kind of just one of those uh, really fast, really basic uh, action shoot em ups that, uh, it's enjoyable while you're watching it, but the very next day, it's just going to linger in my mind at the most. So, By the way, I'm surprised. You're really into practical effects, and you really got to give Michael Bay credit. He uses practical effects whenever possible. He never settles for CGI, explosions, or car crashes. I'll give him that. Yeah. Uh... So yeah, what's so the this? The movie? The I, I actually forgot to check. I was gonna check out what the budget for this movie let's, was. Okay, let's. I don't think it break. was anything more than fifty million, but. Uh. <clears throat> yeah. So, I'm actually gonna give it the same grade I gave American Ultra. I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna give this sucker. Uh, it's either a C plus or a B minus. Okay. okay. I really and I, I thought, um. I enjoyed American Ultra, but here's the thing. I expected not to enjoy it. Hmm. And, but with Agent Hitman Agent 47, I expected to enjoy it, and I enjoyed it. Right. Hence the higher hence the higher rating. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give this movie a C leaning towards C minus. I don't think it's a huh. good movie, uh, but I do think it's a bad movie that I almost enjoyed. Had they given uh, a more, in my opinion, more fitting uh, actor for Agent Forty Seven, I it would have been a legit guilty pleasure for me. I thought me. he was good. I thought he was better than the freaking girl in the movie. Good God. But, uh, He's probably the best yeah. actor in the movie. Uh, considering this show's abysmal Rotten Tomato score, I didn't think it was that bad. Yeah. The, I, the I would score, rather watch this than American Ultra, yeah. easily. Yeah, the tomato score for this one is currently at 8%. This, e- even from uh, the even from the critics' usual standards, yeah, it doesn't gave, feel like an 8. I would they gave think Predator, it would be... Yeah, this is the same side that gave Predator 2 a 16. Yeah. 
The Predator 2 is good. I don't care what anyone says. From the critics' usual standards, this feels more like a somewhere between 20 and 30. Eh. I don't think it's going to, like, save the reputation of video game movies any, everywhere. No, I, I don't think... I don't think I would necessarily sp- recommend it, but it wasn't I, painful for the most yeah. part. Here's what I think about this. That the, um... I think this is the first video game movie that they weren't actually trying to cash in on the name alone. I felt yeah, that... that's kind of a stretch. Yeah. No, if they wanted to try and do that... Since Square Enix also technically owns the rights, well, uh, yeah. I don't know. I know Same Square heck? Enix owns this as well, and they mentioned Square Enix had the Hitman rights as well. Mm-hmm. I felt this more. is also probably why it had a pack for Human Revolution. I would actually like to see if they try to take, you know, uh, Human Revolution into a movie because, face it, it, it could kind of work. Don't encourage the production of more there Hollywood actually, video no, game movies. No, 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 no. There is a could work. Unlike Hitman, you don't have to introduce characters to it. Mostly and the interactions between Jensen and people are, you know, short-lived. Yeah, but he's, he's mostly a loner, but he has a lot of interactions. Okay. I think, if the point of a video game... Well, my final thought. If the point of a video game movie is to draw someone's interest into the actual series, this, for me, like, I've always had a sort of, um, lingering, like, like, maybe tiny interest in the Hitman games. After watching this, I want to play these games. Fair enough, but that really shouldn't be the purpose of the movie. It's like saying The Wizard is a good movie because it gets people interested in Super Mario Bros. 3. That's not how it works. Well, we can argue that might have been a purpose. Yeah. That wasn't technically a video game movie. It's sort of like... It was. Oh, were... You want to talk about the the cream of the crap and crap in video game movies? How about the Super Mario Bros? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this, yeah, there... this, did not, this movie did not feel as ignorantly made as that movie. <laughs> no, but it I'm did, just It not, did I... seem to have the same purpose in mind, though. I like, just hey, here's a popular the cream game. of the crop and crap video game movies. We need, movie. we need directors who are actual gamers. Uh, anyway, uh, Nick, your thoughts on the movie? It was decent. I still just hated the talking parts because they dredged on it like, duh, cut on with it. What's your grade for it? Uh, probably a B. I'll, I'll be fair to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's, that's everyone. Yeah. Uh, thanks for letting me join you guys on this. This was a lot of fun. Oh, is not. Yeah. yeah, certainly. Yeah. So... So yeah, again, I, it's it's not bad, but uh, still, it's pretty stale weekend for me. <laughs> it, stale. This is a high- there, have, there have been better what? movies this summer. This was the highlight of my of my night. Well, ne- next, not yet. Next week looks a bit more promising, though. We've got a bunch of stuff coming next week. We've got No Escape, which uh, uh, I'm planning for Thursday because it's being released on a Wednesday. I can't do Thursday. Sorry. All right. Well. Um, we got We Are Your Friends with Zac Efron. It's that DJ one that we saw right before um, right before uh, uh, American Ultra. I thought that was going to be like the history of dubstep. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Nah, I think it's made no, up. No, no, no. Okay. Do not take that as an idea. Please. <laughs> Please, just no. Maybe I'll edit that part out. No, the history of dubstep as a movie. That would be horrible. I know, that's why I'm saying I might edit what you just set out so that the so that no ideas okay, are Okay, let's at all. do that. <laughs> or maybe I won't. Maybe No <laughs> Anyway, uh Okay. What are the So the um uh, also also oh, wait, if if I do have to plant an idea, somebody, for the love of all that is good and glorious, somebody get Mark Shepard for a Bond film. Okay, yeah, continue. So, um, so, No Escape, We Are Your Friends, and we've also got War Room and Z for Zachariah. So, um, uh, for War Room and Z for Zachariah, those are not as wide releases as War as uh, We Are Your Friends and No Escape, so I think we'll probably go to Alderwood for those ones. Alderwood does uh, a lot of uh, less wide release movies. Okay, so I think we'll
think we got one, uh, the one new trailer on The Martian. Oh. Uh, that looked actually pretty good. Oh, oh yeah. It looks great. Mm, yeah. I would, I might actually see that. And not just because of Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg? No, Don't it you was, mean uh, Matt Damon? That! Ah! I keep getting those confused. Yeah. Uh. There's what? that one scene in the trailer. He, uh. He's in his ecosystem, and he's started, uh, he, he is now growing plant life inside this I ecosystem on Mars. I am the best on botanist Mars. on Mars. He's the only botanist on Mars. <laughs> what about he's, the... Kind of reminds what me about, of the uh, joke. What's the, is it Legend? The one with the two... The oh, yeah, gangsters. that one. Looked, that one looked really good. Yeah, Tom yeah. Hardy has both of them. Yeah, uh-huh. we talked about that one already, that, though. Oh, okay. I haven't. Well, first time I've seen the trailer of yeah, it, me it too. looked really good. Yeah, all the trailers uh, for this before this one looked really good. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, well, um, we we got the we talked about the walk um, yeah. of course. Uh, we talked about <laughs> thirteen hours already. Um, Michael Bay still getting work. Yay! Seriously. Yay! Yeah, I can't uh, wait to see that in theaters and be able to actually argue with you guys about it because <sighs> of course you're gonna hate it no matter what, and I'm probably going to like it. So. I don't know, but it is coming out in January, I think if, so there is I think that, if there's but... someone to keep Bay reeled in, like... There isn't? That's why he's still getting uh, work? No, no, I mean, if there's someone on the production crew that can balance him out... I mean, movies... Balance like, him out. you remember, you know Steven Spielberg produced the first Transformers... And all the Transformers. Really? Yeah. Okay. You know that? I am. Oh, I am. Okay. No, I did not know that. I thought he just did the, uh, the first one. I yeah, produced all, all four of them. I haven't seen the fourth. I've seen um, enough. Yeah. I. Uh, fourth one I is awesome. It's definitely too. better. Than I, I'm gonna need to rethink some things. Yeah. Okay. I guess we're gonna sign off while we go rethink some things. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Guess so. Yeah.